He was not a natural warrior, and yet, as fate had it, he was left in charge of a kingdom. Before Babur, the first Mughal emperor, died, in keeping with Timurid tradition, he divided his kingdom amongst his sons and chose Humayu, his firstborn, to be king. Babur was aware of Humayu's lackadaisical temperament, but endearment and fondness got the better of him. It is believed that Baba loved Humayu so much that once, when his son fell gravely ill, Babur beseeched God to save Humayu and take his own life instead. Historians say Babur took ill immediately thereafter, an illness from which he never recovered. Unlike Babur, Humayu wasn't a natural leader. He was less renowned for his martial skills and more for his eccentricity. For instance, his carpet of mirth, for which he attracted criticism from members and officials of his court. It was a game where he had members of the court stand in various planetary positions while he rolled the dice sitting on the sun. Humayu had his share of military triumphs, but he is most remembered for his loss to Sher Shah Suri. It was because of Sher Shah that Humayu went into exile, and it would take another 15 years before Humayu won back his empire. However, an accident in his library brought Humayun's life to an, an unexpected and unfortunate end in 1556. Upon his death, Humayun was buried in Purana Kila. Years later, this mausoleum was built for him by his widow Bega Begum, also known as Haji Begum. Humayun's mortal remains were then shifted here, thus marking this place in history as Humayun's tomb.